Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on dual of a planar graph. In the previous video, we have to solve one example problem how to construct the dual of a planar graph G star for the given planar graph G. Now, in this video also, we have to solve one example problem on dual of a planar graph. Okay, now this is the given planar graph. For that graph, we have to draw the dual of planar graph G star. Okay, the first point is how many number of regions are there in the given planar graph? So, this is the first region and this is the second region and this is the third region and this is the fourth region and outer region is fifth region. Okay, five regions or faces are there in the given graph, planar graph G. Okay, how many number of vertices in uh, dual of planar graph G star? Okay, the number of faces or regions in the given planar graph is equal to number of vertices in dual of planar graph G star. So, there are five faces are there or five regions are there. So, then the corresponds to five vertices are there in the G star. Okay, so here F1 region corresponding vertex is P1, F2 region corresponding vertex is P2, F3 region corresponding vertex is P3, F4 region corresponding vertex is P4, F5 region corresponding vertex is P5. Okay, five vertices are there in G star corresponding to the five, vert five regions or faces in the given planar graph. G. Okay. Next. Next. Suppose here these two regions are adjacent because they have separated by using a common edge. So now we have to draw the edge between the corresponding points P1 and P2. So this edge intersects the common edge between F1 and F2 region. Here F1 corresponding point is P1, F2 corresponding point is P2. Now we have to draw the line between P1 and P2 that intersects the common edge between F1 and F2. Okay, now, now here F2 region and F3 region are adjacent because they are separated by a common edge, this common edge. Now, we have to draw the edge between uh, F2 corresponding P2, F3 corresponding P3. So, P2 and P3 that intersects the common edge between F2 and F3. Okay. Now, so here F5 region is already there, uh, boundary region. So, here F5 is there, here F5 is there. Okay, here this is the region F1. Suppose F5 region it is there and also F5 region it is there and also F5 region is there, here F5 region is there, here F5 region is there, here F5 region. Because region 5 is the boundary region. Okay, next one. Here F1 and F5. F1 and F5 are adjacent because they are separated by using this common edge. So now we have to draw the line between F1 corresponding point P1, F5 corresponding point P5. We have to draw the edge between P1 and P5 that intersects the line between uh, edge between F1 and F5. Okay, next. This is another edge is also there. This is F1 and this is F5. So these two are separated by a common edge. These two are separated by a common edge. Previously, 
F1 and F5 are adjacent by using this common edge. Okay, now we have to draw the line between P1 and P5 that intersects this edge only. Okay, now F1 and F5 are adjacent. These two regions are separated by a common edge. Now we have to draw the line between uh, P1 and P5 that intersects this edge. So P1 and P5 that intersects the edge between F1 and F5 regions. So now go for this is the second point. For this one we have to apply this point. If there is more than one common edge between F5 and F3. Okay. So F1 and F5 between these two regions, so there are two edges are there, two common edges are there. Draw one line between points PA and PJ for each of the common edge. Okay, for this common edge, we have to draw this point between P1 and 5. For this common edge, we have to draw the line between P1 and P5. Okay, next. Here, uh, F2 and F5. F2 and F5 are adjacent because they are separated by using a common edge. Okay, F2 corresponding point is P2. F5 corresponding point is P5. Okay, so now draw the line between uh, P2 and P5. P2 and P5 that intersects the common edge between F2 and F5. Okay. Now, so this is F5 and this is F3. F3 and F5 are adjacent regions because they are connected by using a common edge. Okay. So now, uh, F3 corresponding point is P3. F5 corresponding point is uh, P5. We have to draw the line between P3 and P5 that intersects the common edge between F3 and F5. Okay. Now, now this is the outer region. So, now F4 and F5. F4 and F5 are adjacent regions. They are separated by this common edge. So, F4 corresponding point is P4. F5 corresponding point is P5. Now we have to draw the line between P4 and P5 that intersects the common edge between F4 and F5. Okay. So now, now we go for third point. For any edge E lying entirely in one region, say Fk. Okay. In the F5 region, only this edge is there. This is the only edge that is single edge is there in F5 region. Okay. Say Fk that is F5. Draw a self loop at point Pk intersecting exactly one scale. Now, um, in F5 region, only one single edge is there. So, this edge called as pendant, uh, pendant edge. Okay. If any pendant edge is there in a single region. Okay. Now, we have to draw the self loop at the corresponding uh, point P5 that intersects this edge. Okay. Now, we have to draw the self loop at the corresponding point P5 of F5. Okay. So, this is the dual planar graph for the given planar graph G. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Dibbela Srinivasarao. Thank you.